this, oops, down a bit, up a bit. Um, we can't do it. <laughs> up to north. Up to north. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel in our shady driveway here at the back of the house. It's been 31 degrees today. I'm still sweating now. We have good news. The gas struts are finally off the Nissan, the very broken gas struts, shall I say. And in the post a couple of days ago, I received my brand new gas struts with a little bit of refurbishment happening between the old gas struts and the new gas struts. So let's show you the new gas struts. How many times have I said that word now? And I can't wait to have an opening boot on this car because I'll see it really comes in handy when you've got glass roofs to keep putting in and out the boot so to have the boot holding its own weight <laughs> is going to be a dream i'm so excited it's really sad let's do it so as i said the process was i had to send my old struts to sgs engineering and i've now got these ones so it says nitro lift on them i think the bit they've taken off my old ones is this little bracket here and they've welded it on and painted it as well so it's nice and black so we've got two of these to get on so thank you to SGS Engineering for the help and support and making these, uh, well making the old bracket look like new and for supplying the new struts. Let's try and get them on. So obviously at the moment, because we've got no struts on at all, the boot is extra, extra heavy. So uh, poor Martin. Right, okay. So the Nissan actually hasn't been driven since we took the old ones off. So we've got all the tools from last time already in here. I've uh, located the, I don't know, screws and stuff from inside the car where we left them. So the new struts are actually labelled, I guess the old ones were left and right. So we'll start with the driver's side, which is the right. And I'm just going to see how this lines up off camera for a second. We're actually over on the passenger side now because I've managed to kind of have a fiddle with this. Oops. Um, we can't do it. <laughs> it's going to sound a bit weird because we easily took them off, but we just can't align. So the bracket goes on with the two screws and then the sort of ball joint bit. We have to take the broom out to lift the boot that bit higher and then the ball joint nut. It's just, it's not catching. Um, it's a two man job really. I've got a dodgy shoulder. I'm only little. Um, it's only so much Martin can hold the boot without the broomsticks. It's really heavy. So I've called a friend, aka my dad. He's not a friend, he's my dad. I phoned a friend, so my dad's gonna um, come over after they've had their dinner and try and rescue us, because, yeah, we just need a bit more strength to hold the boot and then someone to be trying to do this nut up. Um, yeah, I'm still, like I say, nursing a shoulder injury I've had for months, which is ridiculous now. So I'll catch you when my dad's here. Maybe we might actually get somewhere. So we've tried to fit them, but we're failing at the moment. To be continued. Right, so my dad's just arrived. Um, he's got a big prop with him. We've got the tools, but he's got a big props, so we'll see what we can accomplish. Dad's got this super duper prop with him, which is actually on the outside of the boot. I just couldn't get it to sit flush and start catching. Is that a bit of a weird angle, don't you think? Mm. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Yeah, I know, I might have done. Well, yeah. I shouldn't have done that bad. Jesus. Do you see what I mean? It goes too yeah. tight too what soon. The other one? I haven't tried that one. So we've just abandoned, we've just swapped sides. This one's going in straight away on the driver's side here. A bit more success of this one so far. That's how I think it should catch, shouldn't it? Yeah. But the other side it wasn't. So Dad's got this all the way in on the driver's side. It's time for the screws. At least you got a member. Oh yeah, like I said, this is a car that you really do need a boot working on. Where they come from then? SGS Engineering, shout out. Oh, up north, ain't they? Up to north. Up to north. So we got, or well, Dad's got, one side in. Also, we've got one screw missing at the moment. Now it's time for that side, or back to this side again, where just can't quite get the nut to line up with the hole, it seems, at the moment. All lining up? Yeah. So far. So we're just lining this one up now. 
All right, Martin? Yeah, it's all good. Hockey pole is good. <laughs> Hockey pole. pole. Scaffolding pole no, thing. Remind me of, um, those things you used to have as a kid. Oh, pogo stick. <laughs> yeah. I never had one, obviously. Pogo stick. I knew you broke my ankle. Did you have one then? They were dangerous. Yeah, I used to go on my base. Well, at least you didn't have to take them off for me. At least we did that. Yeah. Half a job. Let's see if they work next. Oh my no. god, I'm so excited. We are buzzing. <laughs> Life without these straps has just been not worth living. Hell. We go out all night driving. The yeah. Out. Get the glass roofs in and out of the boot as much as we like now. The stars. Is that it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> if we let this down, it should stay up, shouldn't it? Well, hold it just in case. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. It shut, though. <laughs> it just goes back up. It's a bit stiff. Oh my god. It's a simple thing in life, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like when I fixed the mix fi mi mis misfire. Miss it. When I fixed the uh, misfire, it was a bit like, oh my goodness. Can you reach it? Hey, hey. Hey, Because the shelf. Yeah, I know the shelf's gone wonky, but. It catches, oh, doesn't it? Oh, it catches, it's not. one thing, it's that else needs fixed. Amazing. So, I'm going to have to get used to the fact that the struts work. I've also now said to Martin, it's getting a bit later, so we're not going to be able to go cruising as long as we would like to, because obviously this job we couldn't do ourselves, we had to get my dad around. But now, I've just said to Martin, I can now do the roofs myself, because I don't need anyone to open a boot. I can now open a boot, leave it up, and take the roofs out myself, so it just makes life so much easier now that boot is finally working. Bit annoyed that we were able to take them off ourselves, but not able to put them on, but at least we did half the job, and at least we did try to put them on, but we just needed my dad and his magical prop. So a big thanks to my dad for coming over and doing the finishing touches. Well, to install them basically from scratch for us. Thanks for watching this video. Can't believe the boot now opens and the struts now open, and now I'm definitely going to make the most of it, and this sand can be used more because it was such a faff with the struts not working. See you in another video, guys. I am pumped. Like I said, sometimes it's the little things, but it's going to make a huge difference now. Yes! Oh, I'm trying to do a video. What is it of cars coming past?